which to our audio listeners, I'm wearing a hat that says oh. that. So oh, yeah. um, let's uh, let's hurricane on ahead here to uh, my topic, Ooh. which is uh, an interesting one. It's childish things we do as adults. Ah. And in case you don't, I'll I'll uh, I'll read through mine, Tommy, just in case you want to get some okay. some ideas. Get some juice here. juice so, flowing. First of all, theme parks, right? Amusement yeah. parks. That's generally thought about being for kids, especially you know here in Central Florida, Disney. Yeah. Everyone yeah. always says Disneyland, Disney World is the you know kids stuff. But yet we are part of all the Disney adults. Oh yeah, that go there, and then Universal is much more adult. So I don't, I don't yeah. even think the term Universal adult exists. Yeah, um, it's like or, maybe like the Harry Potter millennials, but like, yeah, yeah. So we do. I mean, that that's one thing. Another thing, Disney movies, right? Disney movies. Yep, love Disney movies. Every, every you'd be surprised. I'm surprised at how many adults are really yeah. into Disney movies. Um, yeah. You know, honestly, I'm more surprised at like. The amount of adults that like shame people for watching like animated movies. Oh, those are for kids. But like a lot of them are really good with really good messages too. Mm -hmm. like, like not like you can enjoy so many like rated PG and G movies like as an adult, but some people will automatically write them off. But like Disney especially has some good content, like an animated movie department. Mm -hmm. There's like a few others that aren't Disney that are good. They're not as frequent, but. Like how to you train know. your dragon. Yeah. I love how to train your dragon. How to train your dragon. <clears throat> love that series. Um, the Lego movies are mm -hmm. phenomenal. Love the, Le especially the original and the Lego Batman movie. Beautiful. Um, there's a movie years back that came out called home. That was surprisingly really good. It was like I an animated movie. I think there was aliens or something like that. I don't even remember much of it, but I just remember I really liked it. I thought it was cute. Did mm -hmm. a good job. My next one is Dino Nuggets. Um, yes! <laughs> Dino Nuggies. Let's fucking go. Yeah, see? Find me an adult our age, Tommy, that doesn't regularly Dino Nuggets. I just ate some yesterday during the... There are two days ago during the hurricane. I have some in my freezer. Of course you do. Yeah. Like, uh, Dino Nuggies are the best. Well, moving on to my next one. Uh, it's uh, lying. Um <laughs> 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 like, everybody does it we all everyone, lie everyone. we lie to yeah. our co-workers we lie to oh, yeah. our uh closest relatives uh, we lie to our oh, lie yeah. to our significant others to our parents uh hi mom um yeah. hi mom <laughs> do that and uh so that's i mean we do it we do it and then yep. that moves on to my next one here uh picking your nose everybody picks their nose yeah and yeah. Not, not everyone does it in front of people oh yeah Everyone does it. It's the most efficient way to get the boogers out of your nose. Yeah, well, how else are you going to do it? Yeah, you're just going to blow your nose? Like, no. Blow your nose doesn't do it. Yeah, I, the first thing I do when shit. I get in my car after work, get get it out. Go yep. digging. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Whistle while you work. Um, Whistle while you work. So uh, this next one is kind of an interesting one. It's pretend we're someone else in our head, like kind of like playing make-believe. So I I would say I'm, I'm guilty of it when like a song comes on. And I'm if I'm driving or walking or whatever, I'd be like, oh, okay. I'm I'm the guitarist of this band right mm -hmm. now in my head. I'm playing a solo oh, yeah. concert at Madison Square Garden. I am in Metallica. Oh yeah. Um I do that was like when watching certain movies too. Like I'll be like, oh man, I, I wish I was Captain Jack Sparrow. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um procrastinate. Oh my god, all the fucking time. Mm-hmm. Jesus. It's because kids always do it. Kids always, you know, wait to do their chores or whatever, you know. And hey, did you did you clean your room? No, not yet. Did you do your homework? No, not yet. And then it's, you know, but we do that as adults all the time. We just aren't held accountable for it. It's just how we <laughs> oh yeah. It's actually kind of nice. <laughs> the best. As long as you have it under control. Like who cares? Right. I did that in college all the time. All of my homework was done at eleven PM the night before it's due. All of it. Yep. I, oddly enough, in college, yeah. I mean, I mean, in a way, it makes sense. But like, I did very good my very first semester. Like, I was so on top of my shit, and then my procrastination just got drastically worse as each semester went on. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. I'm the same way. Um, but I'll do my last one, and then I'll okay. let you have a, a few if you have them. But my last one yeah. is relatable to everybody. Going to bed early. Going to ooh. Like, I don't know if you do that regularly, Tommy. Maybe you're still in your yeah. teenage phase with that. But, like, 
I'm I'm dead after 10 p.m. usually. Because I feel like that's almost an adult thing. But it's all it, kids are forced to though. Yeah, true. Kids are forced to. So like that's why I said it's a childish thing we do as an adult because like kids are forced to be in bed by seven eight p.m. whatever it is depending on their age. Uh, but now like I want to do that. I'm 26. I don't want to be up late. Yeah. <laughs> it's like for for me it really depends. Like I have my sleep schedules all over the fucking place. Like some days I'm up till 3 a.m. Some some days I gotta wake up at 3 a.m. <laughs> um, I think uh, these uh, last two months since the Halloween Horror Nights has been a thing. Um, I go to Halloween Horror Nights at Universal quite a bit. So I and I always I usually most I've had to go after work most nights, and I will stay till 2 a.m. So every time I've gone to Horror Nights, I've stayed till 2 a.m. Cool. Um, but then like I'm also gonna start opening like my, my Work schedule is changing next week to where I will have Wednesdays off, so I won't have to go directly after work every time I go to Horror Nights. Um, and my Friday, which is Monday, I'm going to be opening, which will be 5.30 to 2 p.m. So, like, 5.30 a.m. to... So, my sleep, I'm, I'm going to be all over the fucking place with mm. my sleep. Um, but anyways, um, for my childish thing, so... You uh, made me you 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 gave me some juice and reminded me of some things. Now, the only thing I had off the top of my head before this show was I fucking laugh my ass off anytime I see the number sixty nine. I am I still laugh at the number sixty nine. It is a fucking funny number. Like if I'm on Snapchat and I see the temperature is sixty nine degrees, I immediately send that snap to everybody. With either the caption "nice" or <laughs> a smirky face, like I mean, "nice" is you know a little more like accepted. That's you know everyone gets it. Mm -hmm. You know the smirky face is a little bit more on the nose, uh, like like your mom's pussy when we're sixty nine ing a yo. Um, but you know I feel like the smirk face is a little bit more me, but everyone knows "nice." So, and and then like. You know, if I'm in my car and I see that my temperature gauge says 69 degrees, I send that picture to everybody. Or if I'm at work and I have to, you know, we're recording our data and it's close to 69, I will inflate the number so I can write down 69. You know, I'm 12. I wonder what it is right now. It's been in the 60s the last couple of days. It has been. It's been fucking nice. It was amazing. It I'm smells like, like fall outside. Yeah, it's like between... The temperature and all the leaves on the ground. Hurricane Ian really gave us fall in September. Oh, dude, I went outside the, the next morning, right? The morning after, oh, as they God. say. And yeah. uh, I was like, this is amazing. Yeah. It Thank was... God. I'm sorry. A bunch of people died or whatever, but man, this is great. Yeah. No, <laughs> I was, I benefited a little bit. Um, <laughs> now, for the things that you reminded me of. So, talking in relation to Dino Nuggies, there's honestly just like a lot of kid food that's good, like Kraft Mac and Cheese. I will eat an entire fucking box of Kraft Mac and Cheese in one sitting. Like, do some Dino Nuggies and Kraft Mac and Cheese. Like, fucking, that's the fucking five-star meal right there. You know, earlier in the show, I talked about making a fucking lamb and sauce meatballs, fucking, but then I also fucking like my Kraft Mac and Cheese. And I always have to get the frozen two shapes as well, because the fucking shaped Kraft Mac and Cheese slaps in the face. I eat frozen two mac and cheese at least twice a week. Awesome. So you you're cultured. Yep. Um, and the other thing you said, like you'll pretend to be a rock star when you hear the music. Mm. Um. So sometimes, a lot of times, I still imagine myself as a WWE wrestler. Mm -hmm. Like you know, sometimes I will hear a song and imagine me coming out to that music. I will still think of different songs that would be cool as entrance music, or like I'll see a cool wrestling match and think about, man, I want to be kicked in the face too. Uh, you know. Or, you know, I, I could be I, I could say cool things on the microphone or I, I'll th think about like certain wrestlers and the promos I would cut on them. Mm -hmm. And I, I probably would not sound as cool as I do in my head. It it probably wouldn't come out right. But in my head, I'm thinking, man, I could cut the most badass promo on this motherfucker right now. And then win the world championship. If you were a professional wrestler, you'd be the juggernaut Jew. The juggernaut Jew. Yeah. I, I guess so. But I feel like juggernaut is like a big, tough person, and I am a tiny person. I would 
I would probably if I was a wrestler, I would probably just be a jobber. So mm. yeah, I would be enhancement talent. You still need a name though, right? Probably. I guess Juggernaut. I guess I could. Yeah, I guess I can use He's that name. Dude. Yeah. Just Jew, I guess. Just Jew. <laughs> Jew, Jew boy. Jew boy. <laughs> no, Jew, yo, that would actually be like a good way. Like you know, somebody's in the ring, and then like over the loudspeakers, Jew, and then my music would play, and I'd come out. It would be like you know the Stone Cold glass shattering. Like people mm-hmm. know Stone Cold is the music that they hit, but when you hear the glass shatter, it's like woo. But mine will be Jew. Jew. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> Okay. I mean, th- there there is a wrestler named Braun Strowman, and like he's a big, like, three hundred pounder, fucking like beefy, and like his his entrance music starts out, <gasps> and he's a big scary man. So like mine would be that, but Jew, <laughs> and it would be this tiny hairy weak man coming yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you could always come out with a tray of spaghetti and like. That really spe- confused the fuck out of it. Would always get thrown onto somebody or thrown back at you. You know, so it would be a prop. Yeah. It would be used as a prop. You know, there is this indie wrestler that recently blew up online, Luigi Primo, uh-huh. and he was like a pizza guy, Italian. <laughs> uh, he'd be throwing a pizza, and like you know, he was very popular for being funny. But then, I think uh, it was revealed that the guy who plays that character is a uh, anti-vaxer, and you know, a bunch of other stupid shit. So everyone fucking hates him now. Mm-hmm. But like, he blew up, and then. Pfft, yeah, immediately pooped the bed. Well, 